folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for taking the time to check out today's tips and tricks video. So folks, today I'm doing a little bit of an interesting um, kind of transformative lesson that happens in X-Lights every once in a while. So sometimes when the developers are creating and it adding things into X-Lights, certain things uh, come up and are created uh, in X-Lights that help us build models and so forth in our layout tab, but then things change through the years. And the reason for this is because what originally was designed as a simple setup method became a little bit more complicated due to the addition of different functionalities. So one of those functionalities I'm gonna talk about today is this physical uh, um, uh, custom model. And before we get into the custom model, I wanna tell you about the awesome PPD Sequence Club. When you join the PPD Sequence Club, you get with your monthly membership subscription, a four set pack of preset effects, which work fantastic, as well as they work amazingly well with the, the uh, kaleidoscope and the warp effects whenever you overlay them. Also, you have access to the monthly vendor specials, which saves you hundreds up to thousands of dollars on your yearly purchase builds from vendors such as Boscoyo, Crockett Fantasy of Lights, Wired Watts, Pixel Sequencing, Scott LED, and a ton more. Go check it out, the Pixel Pro Display Sequence Club membership. So, uh, as we get into the custom models, one of the functionalities that we have is being able to create our own custom model. So uh, to do that, you just come up here, you click on create new custom model and you, uh, you set it out there and we go to model data and we can create a custom model uh, by uh, measuring a width, a height, and a depth. This is now the 3D version. I'm not gonna go into 3D or anything, but uh, we can change the width and the height. And then we can come over here and we can start entering numbers for our pixel numbers and just, uh, oops, we can just uh, enter numbers here and, and we can create whatever prop that is uh, necessary. Now, I don't wanna, I, I'm not trying to create a, uh, a specific prop in any manner, but uh, you can see here, we've got a prop that we made. It's like a half diamond, I don't know, nothing fancy. I kind of put in the wrong place to ever be able to get a hold of it. Um, but yeah, okay, nothing fancy. But if you were making a much larger prop, say a snowflake, for example, you can create your custom models. But the problem is, is what happens when you download or you purchase a model from, let's say, uh, James over at Boscoyo Studios, and you go to the download and you create new download, and we go here and we select it and somebody's wired this snowflake, we'll go with the snowflake right here, insert model. And when we look at, right click, we can look at the node layout. Whoop. We look at the node layout, we can see the node layout was made a certain way. And let's say that we pushed our pixels in by looking at this view and we went around the model the way that we hear that we did here node one node two node three and we did it from the front side only to find out that we pushed our nodes the wrong way well the challenge becomes we have to renumber all of these well things change in x lights and one of the things that changes in x lights is when we go to the model data and we s click on the three dots there used to be some buttons here that said flip horizontal and flip vertical well thanks to the developers changing and updating the software this feature is now uh, for lack of a better term hidden not so much because um not because it was a bad thing to have it but because the functionality started to grow if we right click here we can see we have not we have our flip horizontal and flip vertical modes. We also have a rotate 90 degrees. So it'll take this whole thing and it'll rotate it 90 degrees so that it is in a different position. It also will reverse the numbers. It will also shift the numbers. So there's a lot of a functionality in the custom model feature that you're not gonna see over here because it didn't make a lot of sense to add flip button, uh, rotate button, cut down model, make model bigger, increase size, decrease size. That's what this right click panel here is is all for. So you can also trim unused space. If there is a model that you have uh, somebody shared with you and has extra empty squares, it kind of offsets the sequencing so it doesn't center it. And if you have a lot of extra squares here, it'll center it over here 
as opposed to the center of the prop. So you can trim unused space, and that's a, that's a function of X-Lights now. You can make the model smaller, 10%, 50%, 99%. So those are some of the functionalities that have been added in, and the reasons why you no longer see the flip or rotate, or the, the flip horizontal or flip vertical button that used to be very easily accessible, but now is just as easily, it's just in a little bit lower menu than what you're used to seeing. So. Thanks for joining us, folks. So if you like the video, please make sure you hit the big uh, the, the like button, hit the red subscribe button if you haven't done that yet, and also use the bell notifications to be notified when we post a brand new video because not all the videos are posted into the X-Lights group or on Facebook. We do keep a lot of our content on the website. So please hit the notification. Also, comments in the comment section below. And if you really appreciate the fact that we do these videos, please consider becoming a Sequence Club member. It's a way to uh, help support the YouTube channel and what we do for the community to help the community out. So thank you very much, folks. We will see you in the next video. Down through the chimney with those and Sam, and every time it rains, it rains.